Welcome to the Friday Focus, providing tips and inspiration for your future photo shoots. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to take a basic image and use light and color to make it a lot more eye-popping in Photoshop. So the first thing we're going to do is take our image here and darken the background, then reduce that darkness from the foreground to make it a lot more eye-popping. So the first thing I want to do here is take our background and create a new layer and this will be our background copy. And then on top of that, we're also going to take a new layer, but we're gonna do that through using adjustment layers. So what we need here is we need an exposure layer. So I just created an exposure layer and that adds a layer mask on top of that adjustment layer. And once inside that layer, we're gonna double click on that, make sure it's open, which it is up here at the top. And then we're gonna go ahead and reduce the exposure. So that's reducing the exposure across the whole image. And then we're going to go ahead and click on our layer mask. So now we have our layer mask open. And to use our layer mask to either um, add or reduce the effect we have put on the image, we're going to have to go and click on these two little squares right here, which give us a white and a black square. Since I'm going to be removing the effect from my image, I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow button and that gives me black. And anytime you brush on a layer mask with black, you're removing the effects that you put in that layer. So now I'm going to go up here and click on the paintbrush tool and reduce the size. You might also want to adjust the hardness up here. I'll make mine about 50 or 48 I think. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to remove all of that effect from the model. When I brush over the fern area, I'm actually going to go ahead and just brush over the ferns, removing the effect and let them be a little bit brighter because I'm also going to reduce the effect on the ferns in a little bit as well. And luckily with layers, you can be a little bit messy. So just kind of get the effect done and then you can go back over the edges um, with your white brush to add it back onto the edges. All right, so now that I have all of the effect brushed off of the model, I'm going to go ahead and go back to that arrow button right here, click on it, and that gives me my white brush, which is going to add the effect back on. So with the white brush, just going to very carefully brush along these edges to kind of reduce the effect spilling off of the model. And I'm going to use my history panel to back up whenever I go a little bit too far over the edge. So again, even if you're a little tiny bit sloppy on this section, it's alright. You can go back over it again in a minute. Alright, so one more time, switch back to our other color, which is black. Then very carefully, we'll zoom in a little bit, touch up any leftover edges. You can use a softer brush to quickly kind of touch up edges that are a little bit more kind of in between where you've got all this fern and moss and stuff mi mixing with skin. Okay, so that is our first effect. It's super simple. You just darken your background. Um, my favorite tools to do that are either the exposure tool or the brightness and contrast tools, though the exposure tends to have a much cleaner dark shadowing. Then you just brighten your subject back in and they really pop out of the image. Now to really finish this look, I'm going to go ahead and make my brush a lot bigger on this exposure layer right here. I'm going to down the opacity quite a bit, maybe to about 20% or so. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of that brightness back into some of the surrounding areas in the image. And selectively decide what I want to be bright in this image. It gives us a lot of control on the lighting in the image and really allows you to pick what your audience should be looking at. 
So I'm just spilling a little bit more light in here around my ferns surrounding my model. And there we have it. So I'm going to show you another technique you can do, which is um, add a vignette to your image. Now, a lot of tutorials show you how to create a vignette that is extremely symmetrical, essentially using an oval tool or something similar to create a perfectly symmetrical vignette in an image. I don't like those. I think they are extremely inorganic looking and kind of pop out like sore thumbs. So the way I create vignettes in my images is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go here and I'm going to select and make sure that I have black selected. I'm going to go to my brush tool and then I'm going to go ahead and up the opacity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just brush a bunch of black into my image. And I'm just going to select the areas that I want to show up a little bit darker um, using that brush. So I've done that and now I'm going to change the um, opacity of that down. Just maybe take it to about 40%. And then if I really want to, I can also change the blend mode by selecting this menu right here while on that layer. Maybe I'll try overlay. And you can just try and use several of these different methods to see how they affect your vignette. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and use normal for mine. Down the opacity a bit. Have it pretty subtle. And then what I might do is add a layer mask on top of that. So I'll select this uh, rectangular with a circle in the center, and that creates a layer mask. And then again, like I did before, I can decide how much of that effect I want in my image. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and use black again with the brush tool. And this time that should move a little bit of it out. And maybe I'll go back here and intensify it a bit and so on. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that. So we've already made quite a bit of intense um, lighting shifts in our image. One other thing I think we're going to try is to actually add a little bit of white to a section of my image and in particular I'm just going to see how it affects the face. I may or may not keep this on this image, but if you have a face that feels a little bit too dark in your image and you want it to feel a little more impactful, you should try this on that. So let's make another layer, and this one's going to be for our essentially our dodging with white. So I'm going to use the arrow keys and switch to having white, and then I'm going to go ahead and just make a circle about the size of the face, and kind of draw white over the face. Once that's done, let's go ahead and turn that into an overlay. As you can see, that brightens the face up quite a bit. Um, I like using overlay for light texturing because overlay really pumps and kind of meshes in light colors pretty well. Obviously the opacity is way too high though. Let's down it. Quite a bit. So that's that's uh, an option for you. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we remove it. As you can see we added quite a bit of light to the face. And it feels pretty natural. There we go. I actually think I will keep that. Maybe down the opacity a teensy bit more. There we are. So what we've done in our image so far is we have darkened the background and made the subject kind of the center of attention with light. We have added a vignette around that to give it a more specified dark darkness um, to kind of really hone in what in our composition is showing up the most. And last we added a little bit of light over the face and that creates a little bit more attention on the subject's face. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to take color in your image using these techniques and hone it in on the color composition in your image using color. 
So we're going to make a new layer. And on this layer, we're going to go ahead and add some color. So it, honestly, you don't even really have to specify precisely what kind of color you want to add. What I'm going to go ahead and do is pick a color that's very bright. Doesn't even have to match my image at all. I'm going to go ahead and pick like a magenta color like this. And with that, I'm going to line up how I want the color composition to look in my image. Let me make sure my brush is really soft. I want it to blend in well. And then we're just going to swipe this color across the image. I, like, I really like using the sway in the vegetation and tree that comes right here, so I'm going to use that in the composition a bit. Maybe I'll also add a little bit to this tree line up here, kind of like what I was doing with my other vignette. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Obviously it looks ridiculous right now. We don't want pink in our image. Um, but let's turn the opacity down and then let's go ahead and go to image adjustments and hue and saturation so we are essentially shifting the hue and saturation on this layer only to anything we want and the reason you can essentially put any color down that you want to start with is because now you can shift it to anything So I kind of like having this bright green. Maybe I'll add a little bit of bright green into the vegetation. Maybe darken it a tad, like so. Obviously it's still too thick. So I'm going to down it like that, and then maybe I'm going to try and use overlay on that as well and see what happens. Okay. So we really can add some atmosphere to the image using this color. Obviously, I think there's too much of it in this upper section. I'm going to reduce it over there. But first, let's just kind of get it to an area or maybe we like it down in this lower corner right here. I'm thinking that's good right there. So now what I'm going to do is add a layer mask. So again, our rectangular tool right here with a circle and that adds a layer mask I'm gonna go over here yep we've got black selected opacity is at a hundred percent I want to have a little more control so I'm gonna down that to about 23 percent and now I'm just gonna brush out this color right here maybe actually turn up the opacity because I want to have a little bit faster control really lighten how much it's affecting this section maybe a little bit right there too but we can still have that rich lush green popping in right there that's kinda nice alright so that is the basis of it um, you can also do this with making light rays. Um, I can actually show you that really quickly. So again, we'll make another layer mask here. This time I'm going to go ahead and go for a kind of a golden color. And I can do this really quick. Just like this. And let's go ahead and have some of that kind of coming in right here. And then you can affect the opacity of that. And also, if you want, you can go to overlay or how about um, screen? Screen's always kind of fun. In effect, how thick that's coming in. But as you can see, that kind of creates a kind of ray of light in the image, even as subtle as you can want to make it. You can make it quite subtle. So, yeah, you can use color. You can use shadows and light and very quickly make a lot of impact in your image. I'm actually going to remove this ray and just show you guys um, the difference between this image and the first one. So we go all the way back up here. This is how our image started. I mean, it, it's a perfectly fine image. But if we're looking across it, you can see there's a lot going on with light. We've got white right here, we've got white right here, we've got these bright spots on the tree. 
Now if we go down, we add in all that shadowing and color adjustments, it is very clear what the subject in this image is. It's this model here in the center. You've got these light pieces still up and around in the trees, but this is the impactful center of the image. Now, I hope that helps you out with your own images. Um, let me know if you have any questions about how to use these tools, and I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos every Friday.